Ready to master your needle threader? So there's a couple things you can do. Number one, you can do it with the presser foot up, but if you do it with the presser foot down, it puts a little resistance on this thread. Might make it a little easier as you kind of get used to how this all works. So as you pull it down, you're gonna notice you'll be rotating it to the needle eye. So if you've put the needle high enough, all the way in, as high as it'll go, everything will line up. So I always say use your needle threader because you can test and make sure you have put the needle in properly. Okay, so you're gonna do this in three separate steps. Halfway down first, holding this thread, we're gonna wrap it around this little hook here, all right? Next step, bring the needle threader all the way down and then rotate the head from the back side around the needle. And so there's a little hook that's come towards us. That I know you can't see, but it's come through the eye of the needle. Then step three, this is where you take the thread in this little groove. You can kind of see this little groove over here. Take it all the way in and then lift up just gently. I'm not back here, but I'm just, I'm in, but then I'm up. And then as you rotate this away from the needle, notice I let go of my thread. If you keep holding it, it won't pull the little loop through. And then there's a loop, you pull right through the needle. Okay, let's do it again. So uh, halfway down, underneath, straight down, roll it towards the needle, then put the thread in, lift up gently, let everything be nice and gentle, and they'll let, let you pull that loop through to the back. All right, give it a try. I know you'll master it. And of course, with the embroidery and changing all those threads, you're gonna really wanna know how to use the needle threader.